Okay, so we're on chapter 21 and we're on Sif He, number five. Um, it's the laws of the compensation prayer. So we discussed last time that if a person omits a prayer, um, either by complete accident or, you know, he, we had a sort of a very broad sweeping definition of accident, the point is that it wasn't just callously, I don't care about davening, but that on some level you figured um, you would have uh, you would have time to do so later, and you didn't. So then you still qualify for tashlumin. Okay. Ain tashlumin at filah shehivsit ela bezman filah smuchila. The omitted filah can only be made up at the time of the next filah, but not after the time of the next filah. For example, if much time has elapsed since you davened the filah, since you prayed the filah, which was due at the time, you can no longer pray the compensation filah for one omitted, right? Because the sages instituted compensation for the omitted prayer, filah only at the time you are occupied in the prayer do then, because only while being occupied in the prayer can you also make up for what you missed. So what that means is that that um, let's say someone forgot to, to daven Mayrif. So the morning he has to daven Chakras twice. Um, just the immediate part of Chakras twice. Then he goes to the 7.30 minion, he finishes Chakras, then he goes to work. And then 10 o'clock in the morning, two hours later, three hours later, he remembers, hey, I forgot to daven Mayrif last night. So now it's too late. You have to do it while you are preoccupied in davening Shachas. You just say the Amida twice in a row? You say it twice in a row. No, you say the Amida twice in a row. One is supposed to have a somewhat of an interruption in between the two. Um, did we discuss that last week? Um, sorry? Hold on. Let's go back to this. Yeah, so let's look back at right at the very beginning of the simon. It says like this. Um, for example, if you didn't pray shachris, and when the time for mincha arrives, you first pray the tefillah of mincha, followed by tachlon. Immediately afterwards, you should say ashrei, and then another shmoneh for the sake of the omitted shachris. Similarly, if you omit in Mincha, then you should first say Mayav prayer and then pause. So after Mayav, you don't have any inbuilt right. thing. So you pause for the time that it takes to walk for Amos. Do not say Ashe, but immediately pray the Shmanasa for the sake of the Mitha Mincha. If you omit in Mayav, then after Shach's prayer, you should say Tachnan and Ashe, and then um, the prayer for Mayav. So basically, there's different opinions. So let's see. The Kitta Shachanarach says um, that by Shachris and Mincha, if, you, if, if you're at Mincha and you're making up for Shacharis, or you're at Shacharis and you're making up for Mairith, then you wait till you've said Tachnon and Ashrei, and then you do the, the next prayer. Um, if you at Mairith, you just have to pause for a, for a short amount of time, and then you start again. Um, however, Yeah, if you if you're not with the minion, that that, that seems to be also the Alter Rebbe's opinion, more or less. Um, if you're not with the minion, then you, you could just say Ashrei again, and and do the Tashlumin. And by night we don't say Ashrei unless you say it Kukera by Torah. That means you, I guess, we have in mind. But I'm not reading this as a ash, as a prayer part of a, ash, a type of Ashrei. I'm reading this as a as if I was just reading some verses of scripture. All right. Yeah, so th th there is some break, but it has to be while you're still engaged in prayer, not once you've sort of completely disengaged. Okay. 
Okay, now here's an important thing. What happens, right? What happens if I omitted, let's say, Friday Mincha? So two Myrives, but the, the one that I missed was a weekday Amida, and the one I'm making up is a Shabbos Amida. So how do you do that? So he says, the makeup tefillah that you pray must be the same as the tefillah that is due at that time. Mm -hmm. For example, if you omit the Mincha on Friday afternoon, then you pray two Shabbos Myrives tefillahs at Myrives. Notwithstanding the fact that the second tefillah comes as compensation for a weekday tefillah, nevertheless, since now, at the time of the makeup tefillah, it is Shabbos, you pray a Shabbos tefillah. Now, if being ignorant of the above halacha, you set a weekday tefillah as compensation, you must repeat the Shabbos Manasseh, right? So if a person davened a Shabbos Amida for Mayrit, followed by a weekday Amida for the omitted Mincha, and then uh, he just double checks that he did the right thing and found out, oh no, he was supposed to do the, the two Shabbos Amida, so he makes up another one. Similarly, on the day preceding Rosh Chodesh, if you omitted a Mincha, then you pray two Myrish Rina Esra, and that both of them you say Yalav Yavi. Right? If you omit a Myrish and Rishchaydash requiring you to say two Shachris fillers, and if you inadvertently admitted Yalav Yavi during the Shachris Rina you must repeat the Shachris Esra, despite the fact that it's compensation for the night, and then you admit the Yalav Yavi, nevertheless, it's now it is day, right? So what I mean is like this. You there? You trying to say something, though? I'm talking to, I'm, I'm reading to myself. <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry, I read that fast, but I'm going to recap. Right. So he's basically emphasizing how the compensational prayer takes on all the properties of my current time. So for example, um, so he gave, th he gave three examples so far. First of all, if a person forgot to daven mincha on Friday, he has to make up with two Shabbos Amidas. Secondly, if a person forgot to daven mincha on the day before Rosh Chodesh, he omitted Mincha entirely on the day before Rosh Chodesh. And then that night, the night of Rosh Chodesh, he says, Ya Leviyove in the compensation on both Amidas, even in the compensation Amidas. And then he sort of takes it a, a notch further like this. What happens if on Rosh Chodesh, a person davened Mairiv and forgot to say Ya Leviyove? So then you don't need to repeat the Amida because like we, we said, before, we, said, we learned this before. Yeah, you don't need to repeat the, the, the Amida for omission of Yalav Yavi on Rish Chodesh. That was in chapter 19. Yeah, it was in chapter 19, Sif Yud, Sif 10, that because when they used to sanctify the month, not with a predetermined calendar, but by sanctification by the proclamation of the best, and that was never done during the night. So technically there was no such thing as night of Rish Chodesh. So therefore you don't need to repeat the Amida at night. It's interesting to note, by the way, that the Rambam has a different reason. The Rambam says that the reason you don't need to repeat the Amida of Yalav Yavai, of Rish Chodesh, if you forgot Yalav Yavai of Mayriv, is because Mayriv was originally voluntary. Um, so even though nowadays it's accepted to be mandatory, but it was originally voluntary. And there, according to the Rambam, the same law would apply to Chalamayid. If a person davened Mayrev on Chalamayid and forgot to say Yalav Yavai, he would also not repeat the Amida. We pass on Chalamayid, you do have to repeat the Amida because the reason is, all, is, is unique to Rish Chodesh. Right? So let's say a person omitted Mayrev entirely on Rish Chodesh night. Now the next morning he's davening Shachris and he davens Amida number one. And then he says, and, and he says Yalav Yavai because it's Shachris. And then he davens Amida number two, which is compensation for last night's Mayrev. And in that Amida number two, he forgot to say Yalav Yavai. Right? So you may have made the argument, well, this Mayre, this Amida was there to compensate last night's Amida. Had I davened this last night and forgotten Yalav Yavai, I would be okay. So you may have thought, okay, I'm okay now. The answer is no. Now it's the morning. Now it's time for Shachris. And at Shachris, omission of Yalav Yavai requ requires you to repeat. And so to hear also, let's read that again. If you omit in Mayr Vanur Shchaydesh, requiring you to pray two Shachris to Philos, and you inadvertently omit the Yalav Yavi, injuring the second Amida, you must repeat the Shemun Esos despite the fact that it is compensation for the night. And then, had you omitted the Yalav Yavi, you would not require to repeat the Tfilah. Nevertheless, now it is the day. If you omit in Mincha on Shabbos, yeah, if you finish the Amida, yeah. If you omit a mincha on Shabbos, here too, you may, you pray two weekday Shemun at Mayriv. However, 
In this case, there is a difference regarding Atochel and Tonu prayer. Right. So Atochel and Tonu is the insertion into the Amidah of, of Saturday night of Master Shabbos, which is the Havdalah. We do two Havdalahs. We do first Havdalah as part of the Mayur of Amida, and then we do Havdalah again over the cup of wine. So, whereas in the previous case we were talking about Yala V'yavah, Yala V'yavah is essential to the Amidah. Every time you dive in the Amidah on Rish Chedesh, you say Yala V'yavah. Here, it's different. Havdalah is not part of the Amidah. You have an obligation, a separate obligation, nothing to do with prayer. You have an obligation to say Havdalah, to say Verbal to, to verbalize words which talk about the sanctity of Shabbos as you depart from Shabbos, mm. right? So Chazal instituted that we should say it during the Shemini Asra, but it's not integral to the Shemini Asra, and therefore if you're doing two Amidas, there's no need to do it twice, right? You do it once, it's enough. But there's another catch over here. So you Basically, you could do it, you could do it just once in the first Amidah, if you want to do it twice, there's no need to, but if for whatever reason you did it twice, that's fine too. But if you go, if you do it, if you omit Havdalah in the first one and you say it in the second one, then you run into another problem because then you have demonstrated that you intend, let's read it inside first. Um, if a person omitted Mincha and Shabbos, here too you pray two weekdays on Midat Mairiv. However, in this case, there is a difference regarding the Atachin and Tonah prayer. In the first Midat, you should say Atachin and Tonah. It's a mistake here. Um, but in the second prayer, you do not say it. The reason for this is, since Atachin and Tonah is like the Abdullah blessing, and Abdullah is not said twice in Tzvila, the same applies in the opposite situation. If you omitted Mairiv at the conclusion of Shabbos, so he doesn't even get into the whole thing of what if you did it the wrong way. Two seconds. Okay, so he doesn't say this here explicitly, but uh, this is in fact the halacha that if a person in that case said Havdalah only in the second one, then it's no good, then he has to repeat it again, because then he has demonstrated that he intended his first, why did he say Havdalah in the second one and not in the first one? He's demonstrated that he's considering the first one to be the compensation for Mincha, and the second one to be Meirev. Yeah, but if you, if you do, if you do, if you, if you actively demonstrate a certain behavior, we don't say, oh, well, this is what was going on in his mind. We judge it by the behavior that we observe. So if you forgot in the first one, then you, what you need to do is forget, you have to omit it in the second one as well. And then you just say, Baruch um, HaMavdu Ben Kedush As, yeah, okay. The, the, the same applies in the opposite situation. If a person omitted married at the conclusion of Shabbos, and then he prays two Shachar Shemana Esrus on Sunday, and during the makeup prayer, say Atachan Antonim, because originally it was instituted that Abdullah be said during the Shemana Esra. Interesting. He's saying that you do do Abdullah the next morning. Oh. Yeah, we don't, we don't, this is only basically, okay, this is only if you didn't do, if you didn't, if you omitted Mayriv and you didn't do Havdala ala place. Once you've made Havdala over the cup of wine, then you don't do it again uh, in the next morning in the Amida. Okay, so far so good? Okay, so until now, we've spoken only, Bill, you're, you're with us? I'm here. Yeah, so until now, we've spoken only about somebody who omitted an Amida prayer. Now we're going to talk about a different situation where a person did daven the Amida, but he omitted Yala V'yavi, and it's Mincha of Rish Chedesh. If a person omits Yala V'yavi and Mincha of Rish Chedesh, what's the halacha? He has to repeat. But now, but, but he forgot, but he didn't, he didn't repeat it on time, and now it's the night time already, now it's my of time. So he asked, so, so what, what are you going to do? Going to tell him, oh well, you you didn't fulfill your obligation to daven mincha, so you have to daven ma'ariv twice. But now it's not rish chedesh, and if I daven ma'ariv twice now, I'm not going to say yalav yavai. 
So I'm just going to say an Amida again, but I already said the Amida. Uh, if a person, if a person omitted the Amida, then then obviously you have to you have to do a compensation at Tashlum in prayer because you missed Mincha, so now you do Ma'ariv. And had it, had you said Mincha, you would have said Yalav Yavi. Now it's Ma'ariv, so there's no Yalav Yavi. But here you didn't omit the Amida. You said the Amida. You have to repeat the Amida because you omitted Yalav Yavi. So what's it going to help me to say Tashlum? I'm just going to do the same thing again that I've done already. Hmm. So here it's a problem. What do we do? So first, let's read what he says. If you earn at Mincha Rishchidosh by omitting Yalav Yavi, the following day is not Rishchidosh. As a result, even if you pray two Shemin Asrs at Mairiv, you will gain nothing since you can no longer say Yalav Yavi and you already prayed once without Yalav Yavi. Therefore, you do not say a compensation prayer at all. The truth is, it's a Machlokas Arishonim, what to do in that case. One perspective is what he says. He says, look, you're not going to gain anything by, by repeating it. Another way of looking at it is no. The fact is that you, you said the words of the Amida, but you didn't, it wasn't val, it wasn't a valid Amida. You hadn't, you weren't Yotzi, you weren't, didn't discharge your obligation. It wasn't a valid Amida because davening an, an Amida on Rishchidosh without mentioning Yalav Yavay is invalid. So you did an invalid Amida. Now you have to do a valid Amida. The fact that had you said that ver those very same words five hours later it would have been considered a valid Amida doesn't change anything. I didn't do a valid Mincha, now I have to do a valid Meir. And so therefore, many Paschim, including the Alter Rebbe, say, no, that you have to do a Tfilas Nadova, you have to do an optional prayer, which means that you do, you do do another Amida, and you have in mind that if the Halach is like the Kitzvah Shulchan Aruch says, that I shouldn't be doing compensation, then that optional prayer is precisely that. It's optional. I'm just doing an optional prayer. You can do an optional prayer anytime you want. Right? We don't usually encourage it nowadays because we consider ourselves to be um, to, to sort of be struggling with having proper intention during davening, etc. But it's it's doable, right? And then, but but if the halacha follows the other pasuk that I should be doing a compensation in prayer, then I do have a, I, I should do a compensation prayer. I have to point out that that only applies during the week. What if, like we had last, um, no. Last month, not this month, last month, Rosh Chodesh was Thursday and Friday. So what happens if on Friday afternoon, you daven mincha and you were rushing before Shabbos and you daven mincha, and then afterwards it's already Shabbos and you realize, hey, it was Yalav Yav, it was Rosh Chodesh and I forgot to say Yalav Yav. Now it's Shabbos, now it's night already. So now you cannot do an optional prayer because you may not do a voluntary prayer on Shabbos. Or Yom Tif, Tullus Nadav is only on during the week. Is this... Um, you cannot do the the um, the, uh, the the optional prayer. The, the, the yeah, but what you can do is you could listen on on, on Friday night after the amida. The chazan says the bracha main sheva, which is sort of a mini repetition of the amida, where he says uh, you know the middle paragraph is mogi novis that we all sing along, but that paragraph together with the preceding paragraph and the following paragraph are a miniature repetition of the Amida. And so it's recommended that you listen to the Chazan saying that Amid, th those words, and that sort of counts as uh, at least somewhat of a, um, um, a, a um, compensation for what you missed. I have, a, I have a question. Now we're talking in these situations, the last couple of paragraphs, where let's say you've dove in Mincha, you, you forgot to say Yale, Yale Viyavo, and already it's nightfall. And so that means you have to repeat it for Myra. But if you remember, or if you, that you forgot to say it before nightfall, you would just repeat Mincha. Exactly. Okay. All right. Well, what's all you have to say, Ashri, again? So, all right. Okay. Regarding the most of prayer. Well, my only thought is I'm. I would think I would remember that I forgot to do it, and that's usually the case immediately after saying it. So yeah, I, you know, I could repeat it, but I don't. I don't see how you can remember. I guess you can. You remember the next somehow. You you, you remember that that you forgot it the last day, you know, the prior Friday, day. It's Friday afternoon, and you're rushing last minute before Shabbos, and you see you're not going to make it to shul on time for mincha. So you quickly dab a mincha at home, and then you rush off to shul, and you get to shul, and then somehow in shul you remember that it was. Uh, that it all right. to, you know, it can happen. It can happen. All right. Sometimes, yeah. The 
Nisem moj otakbal ko Krešna, človeka. To je ovaj. Pude pa da se voli. Krešna, da zna kompensacijom po še maj. But Krishna Shalomita is, if you have a mire of after night, then the Krishna Shalomita is not, is, is not, yeah, it's not the same. All right. Mm-hmm. Regarding the Musa prayer, although its time period is the entire day until nightfall, thereby making mire the next fill up. Nevertheless, Musaf cannot be competitive at night because the Musaf prayer was instituted based on the verse on the Shalma Farim Silasenu, that the offerings of our lips replace the bulls. And once the time has passed, the sacrifice cannot, can no longer be brought, right? Um, there's actually the Machlech, the, the Gemara asks a question in general. Um, if a person forgot the Dalma Mincha, can, is there such a thing as compensating it by Mariv? Or do we say that because Mincha was instituted corresponding to the afternoon sacrifice. So therefore, that's it. It's, you missed it. Once the day has passed, the day has passed. Now we pass that no, that Mincha, even though it's corresponding to the afternoon sacrifice, but at the end of the day, it's boy rachmi. It's, it's just re- it's requesting mercy from Hashem, and therefore that's appropriate at any time. But Musaf is not so. Musaf is specifically, strictly corresponding to the carbon, to the and to the sacrifice that, that was brought in that day. And therefore, once the day is over, it can no longer be compensated. Tulas Musaf, AFLP, sorry, Tess, Misha Sorakli Spal Shachris. If you require two Shachris fillers or two Minch fillers, and you are the Chazan, so then you fulfill your obligation with repeating the Amida out loud. So that's um, sometimes a, a good uh, strategy that if you know that you need to do Tashlim and so just uh, opt, uh, opt in to be the chazan for that villa and you automatically have built into Amidas and you're quote, good to go. Um, okay. Misha is topically, if somebody is in doubt as to whether or not he prayed, um, in our time, since, um, yes, like we said before, nowadays we do not recommend um, voluntary shmanasas. So if you're in doubt, you do, should not repeat the Amida. However, the al Rebbe says that it is a, you. that you can do, a, if, you admit, if you're not sure if you daven, so then you can repeat a voluntary Amida. Okay, any questions on these laws before we move on to the next chapter? Are you going to discuss the situation when you're davening and then you might get a little distracted, which happens sometimes with me? And then I look back in the page and I forgot exactly where I left off. I mean, have you discussed that situation? We haven't discussed it yet. Um, you forgot where you left off. That's, I, that's, that's common for me I, sometimes. I just kind of like forget or sometimes I get the pages, you know, Mixed up, but uh, it's a good question. I mean, the best thing to do, you would assume, would be to go back to wherever you're sure you said, right? I'm not sure, right? Right, but I wouldn't I be saying uh, blessings unnecessarily if I'm repeating them, or that's a good question. You know what, we're gonna do instead of starting the next simon. I'm going to look that up. Let me just pause one second. I'll pause the recording.